Welcome back guys to another video and today we're going to teach you how you can export your block bit data and import it into coin tracking for your tax purposes. The switch is very easy and I'm going to show you step by step how to do everything so you know exactly what to do. The first thing we need to do is go into block bit and log into our account where we want to export our data. It's very easy. All you have to do is to click transactions and then export CSV. Here we have the option to export each individual year. So we have 23, 22, 21, 2020 and 2019 is empty. So go ahead and click each of the single years and then download the CSV file. I downloaded all the CSV files for you and we have them down here. What I like to do is I convert the CSV files into XLSX files so they are more readable and it's easier to work with them. Just go to an online converter, put in your CSV files and download the XLSX files. Once you have converted the CSV files to the XLSX files, they will be very easy to read and very easy to work with to convert them to coin tracking files. So this is how the converted block bit CSV looks like. We have on the left side the block bit ID, the timestamp, the exchange name, the currencies and so on and so on. We don't need all the informations, but some of them we need and we can simply copy and paste them in our coin tracking template, which I will show you now. To download the coin tracking template, go back into coin tracking and then go to enter coins, bulk import and Excel import. Here on the Excel import page, you have to scroll down and then you will see download the coin tracking Excel import XLS. This file we need to download. We have successfully downloaded the file and we can see it in our download ordinal. Now open it up. This is how the coin tracking template looks like and we pre-filled the template for you so you can see all the different transaction types we have in coin tracking and you have to exactly spell them the same way so they import it successfully. Then we have the buy amount, the sell amount, the fee amount, the exchange name, the trade group name, the comment, the trade, the liquidity pool name, the transaction ID and so on and so on. Some of them are optional and you have to fill them out, but the more information you give, the better it is. Let's go into the block pit file and choose the transaction columns we need to copy into coin tracking. So we need the timestamp, let's mark that yellow. Then we need the source name, which is the exchange name. Then we need the transaction type. We need the outgoing and the incoming crypto, the fee, the fee amount. And then we also need the transaction hash and the note. So these are all the columns we need to copy into the coin tracking template to upload it successfully into coin tracking. Let's start with a timestamp. We just go down and copy it and insert it into date. Then we go and take the source name, copy that and insert that into the exchange name. Here we go. Then we go into the transaction type, which is left here that's the type and we have to pay attention that it's exactly spelled the same way as in the template before pre-filled so deposit is deposit withdrawal withdrawal trade is correct deposit is correct spending is correct deposit is correct and then spending should be spent so we have to change all the spending to spend to multi change something you just mark the whole column Go to find and select, replace, and then insert spending to spend. And then replace all, and we made all the replacements. All right, spend, deposit, trade, withdraw, 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 spend. Okay, now all the transaction types are correct for our import. Let's continue, outgoing asset is ethereum okay we copy that and go into sell amount sell currency then we take the outgoing asset the amount and copy that into sell amount and then we do the same for the incoming asset so that's the buy currency incoming amount this is the buy amount and then we have the fee asset which is the fee currency and then we have the fee amount which is the fee amount here and then we have the transaction hash which is the transaction ID 
And then we have the note, which is the comment. All right, this is all we need from the block pit data to the coin tracking import file. And now we could technically load it up, but you have to do that for all the following years too. So let me do that really quick. All right, we inserted all the block pit data into the coin tracking template, and now we are ready to import it into coin tracking. So let's go to coin tracking and import it in the Excel importer. Now we have the spreadsheet in the Excel importer and we can hit start import. Coin tracking tells us that the Excel import was successfully done and all our data should be in the coin tracking account now. To confirm there are no info and error messages, just simply filter here if there are any errors. And we see all the transactions are successfully imported. As it said, import done. Now we can go to enter coins and see if our transactions are actually imported in coin tracking. And we see we have 532 pages of transactions. To check if your transactions in coin tracking are correct, you can also check your balances of the exchanges. Just go to reporting, balance by exchange, and then compare the exchange balances in coin tracking to the balances on your decentralized exchange or the centralized exchange or on your wallet and so on. Now we have moved all our data from BlockPit to coin tracking. The last step is to just recalculate our data we have in coin tracking right now so we can generate our tax report. We see on the right side a small window with data recalculation is required. Simply click recalculate trades. Now since we moved the data from BlockPit to coin tracking, we can start generating our tax reports for tax purposes if you have reconciled all the data already. If there is still data missing, then you have to insert them into coin tracking before you can start generating the tax report, otherwise the tax report will not be correct. For demonstration purposes, we will start generating tax report even though they're not all the data in the account yet. For that, we go to tax report and then tax report. On this page, we can select our country, our taxation method, the tax year, set some filters, use the depot separation or not, and group the trades by day. Once you set all the settings, go and hit generate a new tax report down here. Once coin tracking is finished with calculating your tax report, you will see it over here in the overview of all created tax reports. It, here you can see your total capital gain, if you have some errors in your account, and if you want to get more information about your tax report, simply click load report. Now you will get a very detailed view of your tax report with a summary of all the positions like the capital gains, the income and so on. If you want to get more information about the tax report, then simply scroll down and then you can see everything broke down. If you need to download your tax report, then you simply click download tax report. It's down here and then you get the option to download it as PDF or as an Excel spreadsheet. From there on, you can submit it to your CPA or submit it to your IRS if you're finished. We hope this video helped you to move the data from BlockPit into coin tracking with little effort. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we will see you in the next time. Bye-bye.